another episode of New Release Tuesday. I'm your host Liz and let's talk about some brand new books. In the sci-fi category we have Zen Scarlet by Christian Shun and this is about a girl who is studying to become an exo vet, vet, vet like animals but uh, instead of animals she's dealing with alien life form. Reboot by Amy Tintera and this is about a girl who was shot three times and was dead for 178 minutes until she was rebooted and uh, became a faster, stronger individual. And now her job is to train new reboots and uh, she comes against one who uh, does not want to be very robotic, very um, none of that. He wants none of it. The Reluctant Assassin by Colfer. Um, basically, this is about a kid who, uh, he's homeless and everything, as you would be. He's an apprentice to an illusionist, and the illusionist decides that he wants to be an assassin, and, uh, this kid's like, no, I will have none of that, and, uh, he goes to the FBI to be like, hey, uh, what? And then they send him to modern-day England, uh, far, far away from his homeland of Victorian England, of course, and he meets a guy named Chevy, and Chevy's like, no, I want to go back there to change the world. Wahahaha. The originals by Cat Patrick, and this is about a set of triplets, identical triplets, and uh, they find out big family secret is that they are clones of the same person. Somebody's been watching quite a bit of Wheezy Waiter videos, I can tell. Hell. In the fantasy category, we have Made of Secrets by Jennifer McGowan, and this is about a girl who is a thief, and then she gets turned into a spy for the queen, and uh, has to help solve a murder, and so, yes, sounds exciting, historical fiction kind of thing going on there. Definitely for fans of Throne of Glass. Chantress by Amy Butler Greenfield, and this is about a girl named Lucy, and she's a chantress, and she is, uh, most powerful and most wanted in... ever because she is so powerful. Invisibility by Andrea Kremer and David Levithan, and this is one that a lot of people have been excited for. I've heard a lot of buzz about this, heard a lot of great things, haven't read it yet, because it's not out yet, and I have to wait. It's it's hard being patient sometimes for a book that sounds this awesome. Basically, it's about this guy who, uh, he's been invisible for most of his life because of the fact that his grandfather put a spell on him. And until this girl moves into their apartment building and she is the first person to ever see him. Mystic by Alison Noel, and this is about a girl who uh, recently found out she had powers and she's coming to terms with all of that. If I Should Die by Amy Plum, and this is the third book in that series, the Relevance series. And so the description for it was not all that clear, it was just kind of like, this girl, this guy was taken away from her and now she has to go get him and redeem him from his troubles. Yay! For the Time is Running Out category, we have Icons by Margaret Stoll, and this book is about icons. Well, technically these things called the icons, which uh, the tagline is, you don't breathe unless they tell you to, kind of thing. And uh, there's these four teenagers, I think there's four teenagers who come together, and through their coming together, and uh, teamwork, they uh, find that they have a certain kind of power that allows them to, uh, you know, come face to face with these icons, what not. The End Games by T. Michael Martin, and uh, this one is about zombies! Well, they're called Belows, uh, and basically they look like humans. I think this is the one where they look like humans. I think there's several zombie ish ones this week, but I believe this is the one where, like, definitely zombie type things, but there's the, uh, these two brothers who are living in West Virginia trying to make it, trying to survive in the, the game. Um, I think there's a little bit more going on than just zombies, I think, or possibly it's just uh, talking about hunting. Uh, but yes, it sounds intense. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, and if you have not heard of this book, Guys, I know Icons and Invisibility has been hyped up, but this book, I've seen like all the blog tours, all of 
everything. And it, it sounds really good because it's, it's like, uh, you know, there's these different waves that have happened um, as far as, like, you know, different time periods of post-apocalypticness, Pocahontapolisness. <laughs> but, uh, basically, in this fifth wave, it just gets even worse and crazier. This is the one where they have humans that are zombies and things, and you don't know who to trust, but these two people of opposite sex, they are like, hey, let's actually trust each other and see how this fares out. So yes, nothing can go wrong. Nothing But Blue by Lisa Jan Klo. Sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. But this is about a girl who, uh, she survived this horrific event, and she's trying to make her way back home. She doesn't remember who she is, but she's calling herself Blue because when you don't have a name for yourself, what do you name yourself? Colors. But uh, as she uh, as she makes her way home, she has different memories that are popping up, and so she's kind of putting the pieces together, things like that. Summertime and the living is easy. Riptide by Lisa Sheeb, and this is about a girl who is an aspiring surfer. How My Summer Went Up in Flames by Jennifer Salvato Duck Torsi. Ski. Yes. Anyways, this book sounds absolutely hilarious, at least at the beginning of it, because uh, this girl is like stark crazy, and she lights her ex-boyfriend's car on fire, and all this crazy stuff, and she's like, I want to get him back, but her parents, I don't know why they let this fly, but they're like, hey, we have this nice neighbor over here, Maddie, you know, names of all nice people. I, I know someone named Maddie. Mm. Anyways, but, uh, that's beside the point. Anyways, so, they go, hey, you should go on this road trip with this guy and his nice friends. And so she does, and every turn they make, she's trying to hitchhike back home to get her ex-boyfriend back. Girl, you cray. You cray. But, uh, as a mo movie, I want this to be a movie because it sounds freaking hilarious, but... Uh, as the story moves along, she kind of becomes good friends with these guys, and so it's kind of like a great story sounding, oh my gosh, if I had to pick any of these books to buy, then there are several books that I'm like, I need these, but this one is like, I just need the after finals, this one, this is the one that I need. Nantucket Blue by Layla Howland, and this is about a girl who, uh, she's trying to have the perfect summer, but it's not working out well. It's n duh. But things, she's trying to make it. She's trying to make it good. She really is. The Summer I Became a Nerd by Leah Ray Miller, and this is about a girl who outwardly is trying to be this cheerleader popular girl, but on the inside she's like a total raging nerd until the summer, and that's when she really lets go and says, I'm gonna be a nerd. At least for now. Hmm. And so, kind of coming to terms with who she is and everything. I think it sounds really freaking fantastic. And the rest of our contemporaries, we've got a couple of them going on here, and the first one is The S Word by Chelsea Pitcher, and this one actually sounds really freaking intriguing. It's about a girl who is slut-shamed so much that she's driven to her own suicide, and her best friend, who is the girl who, um, okay, it's basically this girl, she had sex with her best friend, his boyfriend, so the best friend that was betrayed is like, I have to solve this murder mystery of sorts, because in that kind of situation, it's not kind of, eh, there's somebody at fault, and so it's kind of like this Veronica Mars-esque thing going on, and my dog and cat are fighting outside. Of course. Of course. This wouldn't be a video without any of that. But this is, this sounds really like a really heartstring, full-in book, and everything sounds good, yes. The Lucy Variations by Sarah Zara, and the spot a girl who, uh, she has been a great pianist, sold out very many venues and everything. But until there's just this certain point where she just cracks and she can't even play music for herself for fun. And so she's just trying to come to terms with all of that and everything. And actually, uh, her younger brother, I think it's her younger brother, starts getting piano lessons from somebody. And that teacher really helps her uh, start playing music for, I guess, the fun of it. Or something like that, you know. Sounds good. Sounds like a good thing. I've heard great things about Sarah Zar's other books, and so I assume that this is really good because I've heard, again, A-plus things about her other books. Yes! So that is all. I hope you have a great week. Tell me if you are buying any of these. I know on my list I have Invisibility, Icons, Fifth Wave, uh, pfft, 
some of these contemporaries, the summer ones, they sound like fun. I hope you all have a great week. Hope you all have fun. And uh, I will see you later. Darkwing out.